707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit FountainGroveIn.com. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the famed actor, American icon, Mr. Robert Conrad, taking your phone calls at 800-336-2225, your emails at rconrad at crni.net. Okay, now we can do the show, right? Yes, we can. Because we plugged how to We've do got the everything show in. with you. All right, so now this is, uh, first I'll do the first email, and then we'll go over to Brian in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, I lived uh, at Elston and Troy Streets, doesn't live there anymore, so I can say this, uh, that you had a friend on the corner who owned a bar, and I believe his name was Jim, that, that was in Chicago, not far from Riverview Park, that was our big entertainment park That in the was city. the place, Riverview Park. Well, if you're a young kid and you wanted to, I don't mean young, young, I mean, you know, like a teenager, yeah. it's a great weekend date place. They have like rides and stuff. Yeah, and during the week, if you you take your children, all kinds of rides. Riverview is famous. Anyway, he once told a group of us that uh, you and he were pals. I'm wondering if you ever found out who killed the owner of the bar. Um, Whoa! This was his name. Any truth to the old story? Any info would be greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you. It's great to see you and hear you on the radio. Thanks again, sincerely, Tony from Chicago. Hey, Tony, uh, about him. And about his uh, demise, uh, I don't know anything about it. Um, I, I don't know anything about it. You know, it was a long time ago. I was uh, not even in the acting business when I was going to Riverview. So I just wanted to answer that uh, question because I think you were entitled to an answer. Okay, so Rocky, uh, Rocky out of Chicago sent a, uh, a little note that the weather's getting better. And he says that he can't wait to get to uh, meet me uh, when he comes to Hollyweird. I guess, uh, hey, Rocky, I, I, uh, email me and let me know. This email sounds like that you're hanging it up in Chicago coming out here in the West Coast. So you can let me know about that if you wish. Now I'll do one more email, and then we'll go to the phone. So um, if you want to email us, all you got to do is do it. If you want to call us, all you got to do is do it. But in one of the shows you were injured in the Wild West, please tell me what show this occurred. Okay, uh, Ken, let me tell you something. I don't remember uh, what show. I remember the accident. Please believe that. It changed my whole life for the rest of my life. But uh, if uh, one of uh, the listeners remembers the show that uh, where I had the uh, six-inch lineal fracture of the skull, feel free to call Wasn't in. Wasn't that the uh, stunt on the Wild Wild West, isn't that? Yeah, that's what he wants to know about, but he wants to know the name of the show. Oh, the name of that episode. Gotcha, gotcha. I think he wants to look it up. And, right. and see the gag. When you can't miss it. I mean, I mean Oh, I remember you, it. Well, I remember it too. Every time I see it I go, Whoa, who is that wacko? All right, so can we go to the first We can go to the phones, ladies and gentlemen, here on the PM show with Robert Conrad and we've got Brian from Nashville here with Robert Conrad on C R N. Hey Hello, Brian. Gentlemen. Hey Brian, how are you? What's up, brother? Doing fine, doing fine. You all look like you're doing great and I believe Michael's got a son tan, doesn't he? Yeah, Thank he, you very much. He does, and I'm a. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm Thank a, you, Brian. A, uh, just so you know, I always give the counter where I am. Uh, I'm an eight. That's good today for well, you. Yeah. I, I thought you looked at least an eight. I'm an eight, man. I thought you yeah. looked actually very good today too when I came in here, and yeah. I was, uh, you were radiating. And the reason that I'm and, not and tan. I don't think your hair looks messed up. It looks nice. Thanks, man. Uh, listen, <laughs> the reason I'm not tan uh, is because uh, I have this great, uh, beautiful. Uh, uh, her name's Romero. I don't know if she wants me to mention her first name, but wow. she's a, a doctor and a, what, what, a skin doctor. What are they called? Dermatologist? Yeah, she's a dermatologist. She went to Harvard. Wow. And, and you know, I had a few little things on my face I wanted to have removed, and she said, stay out of the sun. And I said, why? She said, stay out of the sun for a while and let the oil you know, in your face return, and then you can go out in the sun. But for the oh. time being... And her name's Judith, and she is uh, she's this wonderful woman, beautiful girl, and a, a great, outstanding doctor. So, Judith, I applied you, didn't say your last name, and there you go. All right, so, Brian, where are you? Well, listen, I feel kind of embarrassed because I should be able to tell you the name of that episode because I just watched it a couple of weeks ago. There you go. I've seen it, too. I'm, I can't I'm 51 it. now, so my memory's not what it was, but that, that's what excuse I'm going to use. Anyway. Hey, you, any, any excuse works. 
<laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, I met a fella yesterday from Chicago. Okay. He, he's in the recording business, and he's friends with one of your friends, uh, Richard Marks. Oh gosh, yeah, and sure. Of course. Work with him, and uh, I told him about your show and everything. So I think I've got another guy that's going to be listening to the show now. Oh, good. I'm glad. I want you know the more the merrier. And as far as Richard's concerned, my relationship with him is he's more like my uh, uh, nephew. I'm more like huh? Uncle Bob to him. His father uh, was my uh, vocal coach, and uh, I came to him in a very challenging time in my life, and he befriended me, and the friendship uh, uh, stayed in place until his unfortunate death. And that's who Richard is, and he just did my daughter's beginning of her album, and the first song was unbelievable. Got a tear out of my right eye, and he just threw his arms up in the air, and when I knew he did that. I said, uh, uh, I think we got a hit here because he's not going to do anything with that first song other than say, okay, that's a print. All right, so what's well, one what other else? thing? Sure, he did go. say that Richard was a wonderful, nice fella, everyday nice guy. Yeah, he uh, is. West, I had a, you did a movie with Richard Woodmark, I believe it's called The Last Day. Yes. And I, I saw it when it came out, and I haven't seen it since. Yes. But it had to be wonderful working with a, with a guy like him. It was. I think it, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't? Well, wait no. a second. Wait a minute. Okay. But go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Say what, whatever it is yes. you want to say. Whoa. And, then, and then the other gentleman uh, who played your brother, and he was in the Wild Wild West also, uh, I can't remember. Richard Jekyll. Sweetheart. One of the nicest human beings on this earth. Couldn't find another guy you Ooh. could admire more. And what a great athlete. There was a name out of the past. That was a great actor. I loved anything with Richard Jekyll in it. It was always good. Yeah, he was in a, in a movie years ago where he played a, a, a gang tough guy. I can't remember the name of that movie. But anyway, what were you going to say? What else? Well, I was just going to say I always liked him. And, and I know you all did The Night of the Cadre together. And I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. And that was a wonderful episode. But thank you. You all have a good day. I'm going to get off here and let everybody else get on here. Okay, good. Thanks, all right, Ryan. thank you. Now I need to, for all of you super, super, super Richard Widmark fans, he's a wonderful, wonderful actor. I mean, when he pushed that woman down the steps in that movie that made him a leading bad guy, right? Uh, his performance was awesome. But there was a, a little incident that took place while we were filming that there were some people it came by fans, and they were sort of chatting off camera, which is not a polite thing to do. If you ever visit a movie set, the best thing to do is watch what you came to see and keep your dialogue till you leave. And he and he critiqued them, and I, I he I think he what he I would have done is gone to the assistant and said, hey, can you get the the guest to cool it? Um, that was my style, and I didn't appreciate the fact that uh, they were spanked and they were adults. So that was my remark. So you kind of spanked them. And yeah, them and, yeah, and, yeah, and so it's just uh, totally alien to me. I do it a different way. And there was another guy, uh, and the only guy I can think of, no, there was one other guy. Uh, there was one, one actor who spit into a camera in front of a group of people in Hawaii. And then there was a guy who became a star in a television series and a woman asked him for his autograph, and he said, can't you see I'm eating now? And my wife said, take it easy. Don't go over there, take it easy. I said, you know, how rude. Without her, he wouldn't be in this upscale, expensive, overpriced restaurant. She said, take it easy. So there have been three. That's not bad in a that's career not, that's spanned career, 50, 54 years. Yeah. You know, I've heard about me, well, who do you think you are? And I said, I know who I am. My name's Conrad Robert Falk. Right? That's it. We'll take a break straight ahead. We get more of your phone calls going, emails, and don't forget a guest coming up second hour. And Ernie Becky. Is, and Becky, yes. yes. Hi, I'm Howard Dvorkin, the founder of Consolidated Credit. For almost two decades, Consolidated Credit...